Hello everyone, welcome to the Evil Gex TV uh, spin-off Behind the Scenes. This Behind the Scenes is a lot more than the first one, so hopefully I'll give you a point of view of actually how I made this series in the amount of time I did. Fun fact, I think I did it within a week or two days, or I don't know, I was able to do it before like some holiday started. Enjoy! Hey everyone, so today is Monday the 16th of July and we're about to start filming on the first couple of scenes for the, for the first episode of the Yags TV uh, spin-off. Um, I've just done writing my notes because unlike the parts, I don't know what I'm doing with this. So, mm -hmm. you want to visualize on that? I've posted it, I will hopefully post the picture on Instagram soon and post it on Twitter. Uh, so episode one uh, is kind of like a introducing stage where we're introducing Gex TV again. We're introducing myself again because I want this to be the one episode where it's normal and doesn't require that much. One of the things that I have to do though is that I have to make them short and I have to only do at least one scene for every single one. No matter if it's right or not and let's say the limit can be only at least 20 scenes to be filmed. They can't be as big as the parts but they are in the parts universe. Um, but here's how we're going to be doing this behind the scenes stuff. It will probably just be in one total thing. So this is kind of like episode one, and then you get episode two, and episode three, four, five. If there is BTS and any scenes, you'll get a separate video for that at the end. You will, but when do I plan to have this all released? Well, my original plan was to have it for November or December, but if everything goes well, we can have this out maybe by sometime in October because I feel like this could be a nice horror stuff because my notes, I've written down episode one to be normal but then starting from episode two and so on, it'll get less normal and there'll be more killing, there'll be more of this, that, uh, so yeah, I need to find that um, prop knife, so um, yeah, let's start this. Also, I have to go on Sainsbury's to buy a Dr. Pepper, drink um, I could print it out but the printer um, last time I used it did it wasn't the Bluetooth wasn't connecting so yeah so I've just finished uh, well we're not there yet but episode one is almost finished there's just two more scenes left um, so yeah that's how short it'll be most of it will just be clips taken from other stuff um, episode one is supposed to be kind of like we visiting of old videos and stuff like that. Um, we will be we visiting Dr. Pepper, we'll, the Dr. Pepper one. We're just gonna have to see how this all plans out because at the moment in this episode there's only like at least three characters in there because it is that short. Anyway, I need to go and have a shower. Now I'm going around Sainsbury's uh, to buy Dr. Pepper so we can finish off the last two scenes. Please note, I do not like Dr. Pepper. I'm only doing this for the spin-off. So yeah, now if I get this all done and then said when can we expect a trailer? Um, I am hoping a trailer or at least a bit of a teaser could be released sometime during the summer because I don't like keep people waiting and then it's depending how much footage I've got to show you. There's not really any spoilers. I think the only spoiler thing I could possibly think of would be episode five with what's next movie. Or season three of the parts but yeah so far so good so episode one is now wrapped um, I had to make some last-minute adjustments um, because I couldn't go on Sainsbury's for reasons but I will have to go over later because Dr. Pepper is like the big thing of why I'm wanting Yag TV to go crazy. So if you did understand the ending to episode one, which I hope I make it understandable, is that basically the craziness starts. And 
uh, I'm not even going to guess what episode 2 will be. Let me just see my notes. So, evil starts for uh, episode 2 and the planning of the dog's pepper stuff. So, I think that's kind of going to be like morally based up into my uh, bedroom because there's a whiteboard there. I don't really think XCV has a whiteboard, but whatever works, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Alright, that's episode one. So, uh, I've had lunch and I've got this. I have. Um, I will be doing a wee filming, so I guess there will be some extras or deleted scenes. And now, we are going to start on to episode two. Um, again, it's mostly footage. That was um, the XTV videos and stuff into this, so yeah. Uh, we're doing very good on the shortness, we are, of how long these episodes sh should be. Alright, we're going to start episode 2 now, which will have to do with the Dr Pepper side of things. I just want to say that for this spin-off, this is something I could not do with every single series that I do. Film it in one day, because they usually uh, did take of planning and just making sure we get it right. That's how episode 6, 5, 4 and the West went. Alright, now I'm going to start. Could you say the return of Hell TV? Um, not really, because this is still in season 1 stages. This is... doesn't wear this this much these days, anyway. Um, yeah, so we've just now finished episode 2. Been another... I didn't want it to be long, but... Somehow we had to make it long, and yes, if you think I didn't drink it, I did drink it. <laughs> it's not that bad, it's something I'll only have once, and if I ever show it again, um, it probably means it's either gone or still there, or it's just filled with something else that I like uh, that looks like that. So now I can officially say that that's episode 2 for a wrap up. Um, are we going to do episode 3 now? Um... I don't know. The only the only thing that that can stop me is anything else I have to do that demands my attention my way. And the camera battery. Am I willing to do it on the expensive camera while well, during the time of this filming? I do not know where the microphone is, so I can't do that, but I will have to look for it when I'm not busy behind the scenes will be mostly on the phone or the camera but now we're starting episode 3 and we've completed two episodes worth of filming how crazy is that usually I can't get that done and I have to film an extra video for the Addis 15 channel today and um, just want to let you know it's still the 16th of July and you are going to get a bit of a reaction uh, moment or time in this because of a little uh, Yag TV video that's happening today that I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we may be able to fit into episode 4 or 5 or do a bonus episode for uh, this spin-off. So, um, yeah. If you're wondering when I'll be doing most of the editing, it'll be probably over the summer holidays whilst my younger sister is here because I don't like to do filming while she's here. Uh, um, of this type of filming. Anyway, now I'm going to start on episode 3 and there was a bit more, a little bit of changes but mostly still the same. Now we enter the Gateway Trilogy. So that's episode 3 done. Editing, uh, I mean filming, uh, all done. Sorry for the fan. But now I am done for the day for all filming and I think we can get all two, uh, the last two episodes done. We have now reached to the gate to the point where this is the point where you're going to see more killings um, you're going to see more of an appearance of me um, so yeah if you haven't noticed I've been trying to get the hair white and everything for the XTV so making a bit more of an effort here so yeah now that's episode 3 done anytime soon during this part and between episode 4's behind the scene clips there's probably going to be a reaction video even if it doesn't make sense to this so if you don't know, it's about um, a day later, um, I've just noticed I forgot to report, um, uh, charge my camera, so that amazing. 
Um, so today I am going to be continuing the production on the spin-off. We're going to film episode four. We will. But what about that Yex TV video that I did not do a reaction to? Well, I was kind of hoping this sort of video would be a video like last year. But it wasn't, so it makes the spin-off stuff a bit more harder to do, but we will carry on as planned. Now, I'm going to begin. So that was episode four. Um, that was. Um, uh, yeah, we are almost there now. Um, episode five is now the last episode we have to film. And hopefully I can move on to Stranger Things because at the moment that's been a bit slow. I did try to do some filming of it about like a week ago, but the thing is is that we had basically my bed was down here and I couldn't set up the green screen as I was like over there. So yeah, so that's episode four. We're gonna film as much as we can for episode five that short time. Actually, I'll put this camera on charge and then we'll come back to it later. So now, even though I feel really dizzy and feeling really lightheaded for reasons, uh, I'm going to push forward and get what we've started on Monday and finish it today. So now we're going to finish this and we're going to film episode 5. But please note, the BTS all the stuff will go longer than this, so it won't end just yet. So, yeah, just in case if I don't show this, a new prop gun. Well, that's just a sound effect from the gun thing, but we'll put sound effects into the editing, but yeah. <laughs> ah, amazing. Anyway, let's start. So, season one of this spin-off is now done. Could there ever be a season 2? Not really, in fact I've given up a bit of a teaser of what's next for the parts, either season 3 or a movie. But yeah, again, this parts thing was all created prior to the Gateway Trilogy. After the Gateway Trilogy got finished up and made and all that, I put it into um, the parts I did for this year, so it'll be interesting to see if Yags TV ever wants to return to this, maybe in a smaller way or not. But now, what happens? Well, the editing happens, and then after all the editing stuff's done, I need to make the trailers to other of those videos, and then eventually a release date. I really want October though. I don't know if I want to do a thing where I release all the episodes one day or I just do one a day, but I'll let you know my plans at the end of all of this. But anyway, we're a WAP for that. And if you don't know, today's Wednesday and tomorrow I will be working on Stranger Things. And now I start editing episode one. Okay, hey, so now I can actually confirm that episode one of the spin off is now completed in editing. Only four more to go. <laughs> some of them are going to be bigger than others to edit. Some of them are may take days. Some of them may take as they are. <clears throat> but this one, I always knew episode one was going to be short. And I will say that I've changed some things up. How the intro and the outro is. And I'm very basically looking forward to all of it. Um, I absolutely love it. It's supposed to represent... Uh, how the world is ending and how people are dying, getting hurt and all that. Because it's supposed to be one of those messed up series. But in a way, it will still tell the story. If not much happened in episode one, trust me, things will happen in other episodes. So, um, yeah. Summertime and I'm... S <sighs> it's like you sweat every day and it's such annoying it is if you're like, I know, a teenager. Two weeks later. So today is September 4th and I am going to be editing the final episode of the Yags TV spin-off. What is next after this? Delete the scenes, behind the scenes, which those type of stuff are easier. Trailers and my whole plan for it. In fact, I need to do as much promotion stuff and then Stranger Things will be the next thing. It seems to me that at this moment I can't really think straight until I get Stranger Things done. I'm not willing to film any other short film, even though I want to, like, God, like, I'm just remembering that, 
Femin is coming out next like next month, and Spider Man, uh, the video game is coming out September six. I'm like, I don't know. There's other thoughts about the moment. I'm do do editing again. May not be as good as the parts, but we shall see. This month, I start releasing promotional stuff also, and the first um, thing, the first whatever teaser of a photo or details or whatever goes live this month so yeah let's complete this so at this coming moment i'm doing something that i never thought i would be i am going on battlefront 2 to record uh some sound effects i am uh the powers that evil yoke tv has is some of the powers that kylo wen has from uh, like star wars and they've uh, particularly used Malfun 2. I've tried finding like sound effects of it freezing, but <sighs> I just can't. So <laughs> you may be watching it and thinking, wait a minute, should the freezing be at both scenes? And well, yeah, but I, I don't know. It's just in this way I'm having to do it because I literally did like the uh, hand movement to do it so it may look weird and I do apologize for that but um yeah uh, right let's do this I will also be posting uh, the clip that I'm be doing recording for Battlefront 2 I will also be I guess in behind the scenes because not really a deleted thing if it is a deleted thing then it'll be in the uh, deleted scenes Okay, so um, I don't know where we are with the parks behind, uh, sorry, the spin-off behind the scenes now, but I'm thinking I'm just going to end it right now. I am, if I said that before, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with this clip, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's more behind the scenes that I want to show you, then um, there'll probably be a part two to this video, but anyway. Um, it's the 1st of October now. We're getting quite closer to the actual release date of it. By now I think I've forgotten most of the things I did. Ah, I'm so grateful that I completed that all before the other stuff actually happened. It definitely benefited me in the long run it did. And also my hair has changed. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I guess happy Halloween, enjoy the series and peace. <laughs>